I wish the summer holidays would hurry and get here, Rupert. I hate sitting in school on days like this. We won't have to today, Bill. Dr. Chimp is taking us on a field trip to Lake Nutchester, remember? Five. Think you can beat that, Bill? Watch this! Yow! Uh, one. You win, Rupert. <laughs> I would have preferred to finish a dry second. What's this? Looks like a piece from an old teapot or something. This is interesting. It's the exact same colour as my trousers. Look, there's another piece, and it matches my jacket. Uh-oh, that's the school bell. We'd better hurry. Right. You know how Dr Chimp goes bananas if we're late. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. If I am not mistaken, these are mosaic tiles, probably from the Roman period. Roman period? In Nutwood? Yes. In fact, historical records mention an old Roman settlement that was located in this area. Rupert and Bill's find has given me a splendid idea. Instead of our field trip today, why don't we catch up on our Roman history? Aww. And we can brush up on our Latin as well. Aww. Oh, no! I'm not sure I want to find anything else, Rupert. Dr. Chimp will have us studying Latin and Roman history forever. Bill! Over here! I found a... Yikes! Yeah! Oh. Cavern! <coughs> huh? Bill! This could be the Roman settlement Dr. Chimp was telling us about. Come on! Let's explore! Let's take the bigger one. It may mean it leads to something. We might find Roman gold or jewels or... Oh, more tunnels. Let's try this one first. Look at this! can still make out some of it. Trees, a stockade and some huts. Let's see if our tiles fit in anywhere. It's a shame we can't see what the rest of the picture was like. What was huh? that? Stop that! Away from there, you scamps! I have no time for silly pranks. Governor Porticus will have my head if this mosaic isn't finished in time for Caesar's visit. Caesar? Rupert, isn't that... Chimpanicus! Great gladiators! Now see what you've done! Get back to work! I'm working as quickly as possible, sir. Were it not for these two urchins interrupting me, I'd... <gasps> They're gone. If you see them again, have the Centurions put them to work in the quarry. This is no time for idle hands. But what's going on? Where are we? I'm not sure, Bill. But doesn't that village down there look familiar? It's the one we saw in the mosaic. Yes. And what else? Well, from up here, it almost looks like... Nutwood! Nutwood. These incessant delays are trying my patience. It's the professor. More likely, it's his great-great ancestor, Bill. I'm sorry, Governor, but a certain number of breakdowns are to be expected when dealing with... If your machines can't do the task, invent new machines, Professorius. You know the importance of this road. It must be completed before Caesar's arrival. <sighs> yes, Your Excellency. Your wish is my command. Bill! Somehow we've travelled back to Roman times. This is what Nutwood must have looked like in the days of Caesar. Isn't it amazing? Oh, it's amazing, all right. Just one question. How do we get home? Well, if we were home, we'd probably ask the professor. Let's go! Uh, hello? Hey? Oh, hello. I'm Rupert, and this is my friend Bill. Professorius, at your service. Is there something I could do to help you boys? We hope so. You see, we've come here from Nutwood and... You mean Nutwoodium. 
Odd. I thought I'd had the pleasure of meeting all the inhabitants of the village. Well, Nutwood is a lot like Nutwoodium, but it's a long, long way from here. Centuries, you might say. Ah, well, lucky for you, then. Why do you say that? Because a Roman road must be perfectly straight, and nowhere in the Empire will you find one straighter than this. It's a fine road, all right. Did you build it, Professor o Aureus? I'm afraid so, Bill, with this. I call it the Pavium Gradicus. With it, I've built the entire road in less than a year. I see the professor's ancestor is as brilliant as our professor. And just as untidy, too. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like your road will have to make a detour around Nutwoodium. I wish that were the case, Rupert, but Governor Porticus insists the road be as straight as an arrow. But that would mean... Yes, at dawn tomorrow. I've been ordered to pave over Nutwoodium and put all the villagers out of their homes forever. I'm sorry, boys. Regretfully, I have to get back to work now. What will happen to our Nutwood if this one is destroyed? Come on, Bill. Maybe there's some way we can help. I've come to say goodbye, Podgicus. We're leaving tomorrow at first light. So are we, Ardelinia, but hopping Hannibal. I'll never be able to fit all the necessary provisions onto just one little cart. Here you are. Thank you, stranger. Judging by your odd manner of dress, you come from afar. Well, we haven't come from all that afar, actually. We're just visiting. It'll have to be a short visit. By this time tomorrow, Nut Woodyum won't be here. You're not all just giving up, are you? You can't let Nutwood, I mean Nutwoodium, be wiped off the map. I wish there was something we could do. But how can poor villagers fight the power of the governor and his centurions? There must be a way to stop him. Are you at least willing to try? Of course. Well, I'm not sure. Will we have to miss any meals? Really, Podgicus, will you ever stop thinking about your stomach? <laughs> Some things will never change, Artelinia. <laughs> Not in a thousand years. All right, everyone. I think I have a plan. You see, it all has to do with that road you're on. to explain. You mean you've been behind the road building delays all along? I couldn't stand idly by and watch the homes of the good people of Nutwoodium be destroyed, especially by one of my inventions. Well done, Professorius. Oh, Centurion. I was afraid I'd never find him. It's all right, miss. Better run along home now before your parents get worried. Good night. Quickly now. Everyone, back to your beds. Ah, what a beautiful morning. A perfect day to wipe that eyesore of a village from the face of the earth. <laughs> it's still working. Rupert, do you think he tricked us? No, Bill. Professorius is too much like our professor. I hope.
<laughs> the governor will never be able to finish his road in time without that machine. So those barbarians think they can stop me, do they? We shall see about that. Guards? Guards! I assure you, the villagers had nothing to do with it. Uh, I stood guard myself the entire night. The stress of operating at such an extreme pace was simply more than my machine could withstand. I shall have it operational again in a matter of weeks. Weeks? Caesar will arrive any day now. There will be no point in completing the road after he's gone. How terribly unfortunate, Your Excellency. No one wishes you will be granted a posting back to Rome more than I. Believe me. Assemble your men. I shall oversee the completion of the road myself. I will not allow that filthy collection of stick hovels to stand in my way. Nutwoodium may be saved, but we still have the problem of how to get back to Nutwood. I'm sure Professorius will... I'm afraid sabotaging the machine didn't buy as much time as I had hoped. They're going to burn the village! We can't let that happen! I agree, Rupert. However, the three of us aren't enough to fight fire with fire. Maybe not. But what if we fight fire... with water? Rain from a perfectly clear blue sky? How can this be? I can think of only one person who could cause such a miracle to happen. We'll give the entire village such a good soaking, it won't dry out for a week. That ought to leave Governor Porticus high and dry. <laughs> 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 Who'd have guessed my boulder-removing catapult would be a rainmaker as well? I must admit I hadn't thought of the possibilities. Indeed, Professorius. Oh. <gasps> and I'll wager you didn't think of the possibility I would catch you at your traitorous little games. Take him to the villa! A bit of an overreaction, if you ask me. I never did like Roman history, and it's even worse when you're a part of it. Whoa, steady now, steady boy. Sounds like someone's in trouble. <laughs> what happened? Are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine. For one moment I'm riding like the wind, then suddenly with no warning the road ends. But everyone knows the road isn't finished, unless you must be traveling with the mighty Caesar. Is he here? <laughs> Perhaps, but he wouldn't like his presence to be known just yet. He... <laughs> <sighs> when my companions and I made camp at the head of this magnificent road, I couldn't resist going for a midnight gallop. And now it looks like I've a long walk back for my troubles. Don't worry. I know just where we can get this mended. By Zeus, that's good of you, lads. I shall not soon forget this village of Nutwoodium and the kindness its inhabitants have shown a weary traveler. I'm afraid it will be nothing but a memory for everyone if Governor Porticus has his way. What do you mean, Rupert? It's a long story. You see, it all has to do with that road you were on. It was built by a friend of ours who eventually came to an impasse in the road and decided to... Why would anyone imprison a brilliant fellow who can produce such a magnificent road? And you say his only crime is that he refused to lay waste to this tiny village? Governor Porticus wants to impress Caesar with a perfectly straight road. And that means a perfectly flat not Woodium. I'm most obliged, Cedricus. And I'm doubly indebted to you boys. I must hurry back to camp, but I'd like to do something to repay your kindness. After all, one good turn deserves another. How about a chariot ride? Rupert, this is no time for a joyride. What about Professorius? That's just it, Bill. 
If the mighty Caesar really is the great man everyone says he is, I'm sure he'll want to spare Professorius and not Woody him. Caesar would be glad to know you put such faith in his judgment. Do you think he might agree to see us? I'll see what I can do. Wow! <laughs> Rupert, what if Caesar is too busy to see us? Or worse, what if he doesn't believe us? He just has to, Bill. By order of the great Caesar, you are to follow me. Can you see our friend from last night? He must be here somewhere. But amongst all these soldiers, I can't spot him. This way. Wait! Where's Caesar? We have to talk to him. left behind. But I've never driven a chariot! Oh, mighty Caesar! It is such an honor to have you grace this lowly frontier outpost with your most august presence. Everything you see has been created by me, your most humble admirer, and dedicated in your honor. I realize that the uh, road is as yet incomplete, uh, but I am not to blame, sire. Guards! This is the villain who sabotaged the road that was to be the crowning tribute to your glory. He is yours to do with as you see fit. And what's more, I have devised a little entertainment that I hope will more than make up for this villain's act of treason. He's planning to flatten that Woodyum. We've got to get down there and do something. Yeah! Rupert, what are we doing? We have to get this machine onto the road. Pull! Yep, yeah! So. Those interfering bumpkins want to add to the entertainment. <laughs> yeah! <gasps> it's Caesar. Together now. Pull! Yeah! We did it! Caesar! Yeah. You shall pay dearly for your... Release them this instant! Caesar! Uh, I mean, sir, uh, your excellency! Thank you! Yes, we'd have been flat as pancakes if you hadn't come along when you did, uh, Your Majesty. But why did you help us? <laughs> why, Rupert, haven't I always said one good turn deserves another? It's you! No wonder we couldn't find you before! Your mighty ship! You know these ruffians! I'm proud to call them friends. But, but, no! I think it is time Porticus was promoted to a position more suited to his skills. Oh, the unfairness of it all. Get to work, Porticus. There's no time for idle hands if you expect to keep your post as my regimental stable boy. <laughs> well, at least he got his wish to return to Rome. And a post he richly deserves. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Chimpanica! Superlative likenesses! Well now, Governor Professorius, where is this new tribute that you wanted us to see? Right here, Your Excellency. Bill! That's you! And that's you! <laughs> A fitting tribute to the heroes who saved Nutwoodium! While we're on the subject, Governor, I've been thinking that it would be a shame not to finish our marvelous road. <laughs> 
But your excellency, not Woody a miss still in the way. I have an idea about that. Perhaps we need to solve this problem in a more roundabout way. Now, the first thing is... Well, Bill, now we know why those towels match the color of our clothing. Yes, it's too bad we don't know how to get back. Oh? We're back! Oh, the mosaic is all broken up again. Our pictures are missing. Well, at least we know we're in it. Yes, but with no proof. Who else will ever believe our story? Come on, Bill. This looks like a way out of here. I wonder how things eventually worked out with the road. See for yourself. It's just like Caesar said, Bill. One, One good, good turn, turn deserves, deserves another. another. <laughs> <laughs>